He's got his wings now. Hey, it's Pam from Ben McFuzzy Lugs and it's Thursday so it's time for another needle felting tutorial and we're still in the middle of our dragon series. If you're interested in videos like this please don't forget to hit the subscribe and come back every Thursday. So we've been working on my dragon again and this week we've got him to the point where his wings are finally on. This is a fairly fiddly step, but not too overly difficult. I use this beautiful pre-felt, which makes it a little easier. You can make your own felt strips, but this is, I love this because it's fine enough that you can actually see through it slightly. Um, and it's really easy to work with. So all we did to get his wings to this stage was I stretched his wings out at their fullest extent to make sure that we had enough skin between his wings and I sketched out a template on some paper. This just meant I wasn't drawing onto the actual pre-felt so there's no chance of any marks coming up on the final piece. I only did one side because the wings should be similar. They're not totally identical but it's good enough. So I only traced one side and just checked that both sides of the dragon's wings fitted on that. And then I cut, I folded a sheet of the pre-felt over and I used my rotary cutter on a cutting mat to cut the shape of the wings. Cutting through the paper actually made it easier to cut onto the pre-felt than just using the rotary cutter straight onto the pre-felt. The paper helped give it a wee bit of bite for some reason. I made sure and cut a separate piece for each bit of in between the wings just in case the sizes were slightly off and also so that I could have a little bit of the purple poking through. It's not important, it's not imperative that you do that, you can just cut out the whole thing in one go and that works perfectly well as well. I just wanted to give myself more work clearly. And then comes the fiddly bit of adding each bit of these wings on. Just work on where you can, folding away the legs and the other wing and everything as much as you can so you've got as much space and felting from the pre-felt into the wing and from the wing into the pre-felt. Felting until it was as firm as I could get it. And then I just added small amounts of the purple. Just, I wanted that to blend out into the wings a little bit more, but also help to secure the wings onto the body so that there's extra, extra felting going on there. Because it is really quite delicate, the pre-felt. I also worked on felting the pre-felt just a little bit as well, just to compress down the fibres and because it is just pre-felt, it's not fully felted yet, so it gives me a chance to, to firm that up a little bit and that's how I got to where we are with my dragon. Now we're really nearing the end of this season, just his head to go, the rest of him has been done. And if you're interested, don't forget to check out my playlists on how I've got him to this stage so far. Um, I have some ideas for what I want to do 
once I'm finished with the dragon but if there's anything else you would like to see I already have a lot of requests in for making a fuller tutorial of my fox so I will at some point do that but I want to do some littler tutorials first of all so if you let me know anything that you fancy seeing felted and I'll have a go at that I've also got another fluff ball felt in the works which should be up sometime over the weekend so thank you so much for joining me don't forget to check out my videos and playlists click below to subscribe to my channel and come back every Thursday for needle felting tutorials thank you